here is the brake caliper you can see the front brake caliper and uh, I found some leakage as you see the close-up here there is a brake fluid leakage I found so what I'm going to do is I have to dismantle it and make repair on it there is an o-ring actually inside uh, the ceiling that is uh, breaking sometime uh, that is leaking so we, we are going to replace that for this purpose what I have to do is I have to remove components from I have to open it so something like this this is already loosened I don't know why but it is and the other side it's tightened so I have to use my 14 millimeter uh, spanner to open it so by this way I'm going to open it it's already opened now I have to remove this part dismantle it and then afterwards what we will do is we will make maintenance on these also I will show how to do and uh, right now is this one so I have to clean it up a little bit so that the debris should go off because I will get the cool the brake fluid maybe we will reuse that if it will be needed otherwise we will put new one so this by this way now what I have to do is I have to put a pan underneath something like this to collect the brake fluid there are many ways to remove this cylinder some people are uh, breaking uh, the pushing the brake pedal and by this way this come off and then they remove it Let us see the piston is coming off. The fluid is dropping. So by this way the piston came off. As you can see this is what is the piston. We will clean it and reuse it because the surface is good surface is not bad only cleaning is required this cleaning we will make by water because this uh, fluid is not oil this is something oh, water based so what I have to do is I have to remove this plastic piece the rubber one sorry this one and then here is a ring also I have to remove it this is something grabbing the putting in the the same thing this is the uh, same the rubber so what I have to do is there is an o-ring I have to show you on the camera if it is possible put off the fluid from so see here here is this o-ring so I have to remove this o-ring using sort of uh, whatsoever this uh, pick or something so the fluid is coming on and on better if I plug this line some way but it will remove whatsoever the debris is inside this is good enough we will replace this fluid with new one so what I'm going to do is this using this as a pick the spring sometimes we are not having things in our hand so whatsoever is coming in our hand we are using this is what is one example so by this way I am going to try to remove this o-ring from the inside so by this way as you can see I am able to hold it and remove it so this is removed from and I have to clean it a little bit so that the things should go smooth as I have a replacement part I will match it first and then we will put that in the same location so something like this I have a replacement part which is this new one and you can see nearly 
it is the same but it seems a little bit smaller seems a little bit smaller so we are going to fix it and then we'll see if it will go in proper way it's okay otherwise we will go for the alternative we will bring another one and we'll put it so this is the original one which came from the car and this is the replacement part so i'm going to do i'm going to put the replacement part in something like this and then by this way seems good not bad it will sit in because this part i'm sure it's worn out because the piston worked in so it seems worn out so we will put in the piston and then we'll see but first what i will have to do is i will clean this piston thoroughly and then we'll put it in uh, the cleaning i will do with the warm water so the warm water will be enough solution for this so by this way have to pour all fluid from and then what i have to do is i have to clean it little bit the sides because rubbers and ceiling will go in over here i have to clean it a little bit thoroughly it will ease my work and then i have to put this piston as you see this is cleaned not perfectly but it's okay up to some extent to lubricate it a little bit with the same fluid So by this way it should go in like this something like this you need a little effort it's not easy job because things are new the ceiling is new so i have to clean it a little bit using my screw driver and drag i have to clean these things what's ever the brake fluid is i have to clean it off from the parts because if something is there it will be difficult to put ceiling so by this way i have to put it put in the new seal so something like this to work on all sides from down side using my screw drivers i have to do it by this way from the upside from the downside everywhere how to fix this seal properly this is actually the dust seal it will prevent dust from going inside
So something like this. So here I just fixed this uh, metal ring, which you can see inside this wire ring out of the out of the video. The reason was uh, the camera battery went low, and I was not understanding this fact, and I just put it in. I was thinking maybe it had been recorded, but only this thing, and uh, the rest. What I have to do is now this caliper part. I'm going to make maintenance on. I'm putting camera in some better location. Here, it's good. On this, what I have to do is I have to remove these two pins. These two, because they are lubricated inside, and if the lubrication had been broken, uh, the brake is difficult in operation. So, for this purpose, I have to just pull these pins you can see the lubrication is there but it is dry it's no more lubricated so this is good that we have to remove these and then clean them thoroughly and re-lubricate them this one also in the same way not good and this rubber piece which is sealing I have to remove and uh, this one also these are actually reusable we will reuse them so by this way they come off and now I have to clean them for the cleaning I have to use something WD-40 RS-20 whatsoever is available so I have to spray it in this way and the other one also and on the pins also So by this way and using a rag, an old rag, have to clean these pins. The same I have to do with the other one also. And here inside this caliper part I have to put the rag in and then clean them thoroughly so that it will remove the residue the old grease and the oil which I just put it in So by this way, same I have to repeat if it is needed. To make a perfect work. And the other one also. So by this way, now they are clean, cleaned and these parts also have to clean them. Have to remove the old grease from. because this is not a good idea to mix two type of creases the other one is here this one so also I have to clean put a little bit of spray and then clean with the help of rag 
something like this. So now it's cleaned and how to lubricate them, these pins thoroughly so that they will not become dry in our rusty or season. So this is and then afterwards I have to put a little little lubrication of grease here and then put the pin in thoroughly drive it in and then the other one also I have to do the same thing with now I have to remove them put a little bit of grease in these rubber boots and then put them back by this way the other one also I have to repeat the same practice this way we'll stick in and put these pins pins gently press them thoroughly like this this way so now this part is ready you can see the motion is there very easy there should be easy motion in because the, in the brake uh, braking this is needing some motion so if the motion is not there the brake will be sticking or so many problems we will face that is what we don't want and now we have to put a little bit lubrication here little bit grease and here also all the four points where the brake pads will go I have to lubricate them by this way that's it it's okay now the things will fix back So the same way as we removed it we will fix it back so it will be fixed something like this and here two bolts are there we will fix them on the same pins these bolts will go The other bolt also have to fix it by the way same way as it was and now is the time to tighten them using my 14 millimeter and 14 millimeter open I have to fix it over here and then tighten it and tighten them thoroughly Here also, the same practice I have to do. I have to tighten this bolt. Like this. And then, I will put new fluid and will bleed it over here. But this will be while the brake will go in and each and everything will be fixed. And afterwards, I will do this practice with, I will bleed the brake and will finish the job.